What is up guys, Mystic7 here, and today we have a pretty incredible video. Now yesterday, aka Friday, St. Patrick's Day was the best day I have ever seen in my entire career of Pokemon Go for Pokemon Go rare spawns in Santa Monica. Now I'm not just saying that because I want a cool thumbnail and title, like I am 100% dead serious. Now remember when I missed that unknown? As we all know, I'm in Boston right now for PAX East, and I got a bunch of tweets the other day, and apparently the most rare Pokemon in Pokemon Go spawned in Santa Monica the other day while I'm in Boston. Yeah, well, the unknown is the number one most rare Pokemon in Pokemon Go, and the second is the Tyranitar, if I'm not confused. And guess what? Your boy missed that too. The amount of rare spawns that happened at the Santa Monica Pier yesterday was just nothing I've ever seen in my life before. And I think theory, here's a theory, there was no St. Patrick's Day event, obviously, but for St. Patrick's Day, they might have increased the rare spawn rates in Pokemon Go worldwide. And actually, if you noticed you were catching a lot more rare stuff on St. Patrick's Day, let me know in the comments because I kind of want to confirm this. But unfortunately for me, I had a very late start to the Santa Monica Pier day and I missed a lot of big spawns. Like every time I got a tweet about a new something that spawned, a tear formed in my eye and a small part of me died inside. Now I'm sure you're pretty curious as to what spawned yesterday at the Santa Monica Pier that I missed. Well, let's look at some tweets. Let me just list this off for you. Tyranitar, Dragonite, Charizard, two Blastoise, two Ursaring, and then some other stuff I didn't really see. And after seeing all that, I tweeted out, if one more rare spawn spawns, I'm going straight to the pier. And guess what happened? Another rare spawn spawn. And bro, I dipped. I went straight to the pier. So here's how this video is gonna work. Now you gotta pay attention here. I did a very, very short adventure that I'm gonna play first of me going to the pier after all the crazy rare spawns on St. Patrick's Day and catching some pretty insane stuff. And then on Thursday, I did a hunt at the Santa Monica Pier and I'm gonna play that footage after. But again, St. Patrick's Day was the craziest day I have ever seen for Pokemon Go in Santa Monica. And if you guys experienced some pretty rare spawns on St. Patty's Day, let me know down below. But please enjoy today's crazy video. I can't believe my eyes right now. I got a bunch of tweets, another Ursaring spawn at the end of the pier. We're going right now. My video is uploading. We are dipping and going straight to the pier, seeing what we can catch. At the pier right now, in the, in the bike with Ysimondo. Hey, right here. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we're uh, catching, actually tracking a Feraligate. Literally, we pulled up, there's a Feraligate, and this man right here is gonna get us there quick enough to get it, so. First catch just showing up as a Feraligator. Yeah, this is insane. Oh my god, okay, so we're here on the super duper foggy beach, and we found our first ever, I'm pretty sure, right? Wild for Raligator for 1500 CP, dude. Oh my gosh, I knew, I knew after that last uh, Ursa Ring spawned, I was like, okay, gotta go to the pier now if an Ursa Ring spawning. And I show up, literally, I get here, get out of my car, I get tweets, they're like, yo, for Raligator's over there. So I sprint my arse off, find the dude on the bike, get here, whoa. Literally, I wasn't even planning on coming to the pier today. And then Tyranitar, Dragonite, Charizard, Blastoise, and now a freaking Feraligator. Yo, this is insane. The pier is nuts today. Got him? Okay, come on. Come on, go down. Go down. Oh, no way. This will be a fight right here, for sure. This will definitely be a fight, but yo, definitely worth it. What the heck? You shout out to that I gave him a fat tip, but shout out to that guy for getting me here quickly. He definitely saved the catch here, and it is a catch, so we did get the Feraligator. Let me get back to the freaking pier. I'm like a mile out, but yo, wild Feraligator. Bite and crunch, not a good move set, but that is such a sick catch. Hold on, let me go find that. I'm actually at a thousand Pokemon too, so I have to go and transfer stuff, but yo, wild for alligator as we pull up i knew i knew again after the last earth ring i was like all right gotta go to the pier man it's spitting out some crazy stuff today so for alligator down first catch of this adventure and actually right next to each other we have a totodile and a giraffe rig both very rare catches and uh totodile will have to pineapple i didn't even think about pineapple bearing the for alligator well I, we wanted to catch it it was 1500. today has been a legendary day in santa monica i'm sad i missed half the entire day and all the good spawns but we can't for alligator i'm cool with let's definitely grab this totodile definitely grab the giraffe rig and then and my buddies are actually meeting me here and we're going out tonight. This is probably part of Saturday's video that was combined with a video I filmed on Thursday. So I don't know what the heck you're going to watch after this. But Totodile down. And then we have the Giraffe Rig, a Pokemon that I have not found at all in the wild. Actually, this might even be the first ever Giraffe Rig I've found in the wild. I know I have one, but I... I can't remember catching one other than right now, so this might be one hit record of the Pokeball too, easy. Oh, whoa, that was Pokedex. Okay, I'm a freaking idiot. All right, well, there's that, and the unknown, you saw that too. Didn't lucky egg. Okay, that was the first ever giraffe rig we found. Should have dropped an egg for the Pokedex, but I'm, again, I'm an idiot, but wait, that's, what a good catch. The pier is relentless today. We have a Larvitar 
on the pier, dude. I, I can't explain how good the spawns have been. Well, I mean, you, you've seen how good the spawns have been this entire day, and I'm so, I'm so mad. We're just getting, I wasn't even planning on, I'm gonna go to the pier Saturday and Sunday, like, all day, but today I was not, Friday, I was not planning on going. St. Patrick's Day, one hit or quitter on the Larvitar, but I really wish I did because we would have had one fire video, but oh my gosh, the catches today are insane. Catching a 2K, we got a Ghastly. Also, there's some crazy stuff spawned at the end of the pier. Let me set you up. Also, we got Oscar here who found a wild Ampharos earlier. Oh, yeah. Wild Ampharos was here too. Now, look, 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 look at the... I can't even explain. Lickitung, Skarmory, Chikorita, and Totodile all at the end here, and I'm stuck hatching 2Ks. Come on, what is this? I got a legendary. What is it? Oh, we got a Togepi. No way. Oh my god, that's ridiculously rare. Awesome. We hatched a Togepi. I don't need it at all, but we hatched it. Okay, come on. And Niran. All right, please, eggs, leave me alone for a second. Yes. Okay, Skarmory. Dude, the, every single starter, every single Gen 2 starter is here with a Lickitung and a Skarmory. We're going for the Skarmory first because it's like the equivalent of the Gen 2 Aerodactyl or the equivalent of the Aerodactyl at 12, 23. There's, there's too much happening today. All right, Skarmory. Let's see if we can get him. Oh my gosh, dude. What? What is happening today, yo? Okay, the Skarmory might fight and then stuff might just spawn, but you saw what was here. The end of the pier is popping. Come on, come on. Oh, Skarmory, stop it. Okay, we're gonna throw an Ultra Ball because I need to get these down quick. Okay, you can't dodge me, bro. Here we go, here we go. Oh, yes, all right, Ultra Ball. Got the Skarmory at 1200 CP. Awesome, and it's got Steel Wing and Flash Cannon, a great moveset for the Skarmory, and IVs are eh, okay. And then we still have the Lickitung, all the starters. Okay, what next? Chikorita next because we do not have our Meganium yet, and we do need the candy, and then we're gonna get the Lickitung because you'll never see those ever. And then there's a Totodile and a Cyndaquil here too. Oh my God, I'm so happy we decided to rush here today. We'll throw one more Pineapple, and if we can't catch it, then we'll switch over to Raz. We're going to Raz because I cannot get it with the Pineapple. Raz Great Ball. Bah, there we go. Okay, got the Chikorita. Awesome, with the Raz. But unfortunately, didn't get double candies for it, but I don't care because we still caught it. So we're now at 114 Chikorita candy. Okay, Totodile next. Actually, Totodile instead of the Lickitung. Nice, 38 CP. That is literally perfect. Pineapple Great Ball. Should one hit or quitter. Easy money. Here we go. Here we go. One hit or quitter on the Totodile. Beautiful. Nice. Now we're at 160 Totodile candy. Oh my gosh. I'm going to not transfer everything so that we can see what all we caught here in the span of like an hour, an hour and a half. One pineapple on the Cyndaquil, if he jumps out, we use the Raz. Air it out, what is, what is this? Yeah, yeah, he's back, he's back. That was weird. Did that use my pineapple? Oh, you. Arse. Also, big shout out to everybody on Twitter tweeting me where all these Pokemon are. You guys are plug. <laughs> oh my god, go down. Ah, there we go. Cyndaquil down. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now we have the Lickitung left. And then we clean up the entire cluster of great spawns at the end here. Lickitung is going to be for 624 CP. Okay. There it is. One hitter quitter on the Lickitung. Dude, what an end of the pier cluster here. It's not as good as like the Ursaring, the double Ursaring earlier, but that's still insane. Lick and Stomp, dude. Okay, look, hold on. We got all six of those top Pokemon sitting at the end of the pit. We didn't catch the Togepi, but we hatched it, but what the heck? The video I'm recording right now is gonna be the beginning of the video I filmed a couple days ago, and then these two are here for that. And this guy actually got the Tyranitar that spawned here. Let's see it. There it is. 1700 with Bite and Stone Edge. No, that's, that's 1173. Oh, oh, but that's it. That's the one that spawned here, dude. That's, yo, congrats on that. That's huge. And on top of everything else that just spawned at the end, we have a Grimer. And a lot of a lot of people, a lot of here, a lot of squad here. So it's busy day. It doesn't stop. It, I am not gonna go home tonight. One hit or quitter on the Grimer. Yo, everything you see in the top six, we just caught at the end of the pier here. That is mind-boggling. Rare spawns today. Blastoise. We got another. This is the second Blastoise that spawned here today in the same spot. It's been forever since a wild Blastoise I've seen. 752, I'm not yeah, good okay. I'm not feeling You're not? Digital. I'm feeling, I, it's savage season, yo. It's time for a pineapple berry Pokeball right here. Throwing a Pokeball at the Blastoise. Today is officially the greatest day ever of Pokemon Go at Santa Monica. Oh my gosh, okay. It's not savage season, is it? Dude, a freaking Blastoise. What? Today's been not. Okay, come on. Savage season. No, nope, nope. All right. Just kidding. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for disrespecting you, Mr. Blastoise. We're going to throw a great ball. This isn't going down. You guys didn't hear it? I got it. Okay. Yes. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Pipe. Pipe. I hope that was a bad throw. Here we go. Blastoise. Blastoise. There we go. Nice. Yo. Bl wild Blastoise here. And it's got good IVs? Yeah. Oh, nice. Right there. Wild. Here, with the squad. Wild Blastoise. Savage Oh! I got that on footage, yo. Okay, let me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. For starters, it's Savage Season right here. This guy's like, hey, Savage Season. Pineapple Berry, Pokeball, and a 1500 Blastoise. And he criticaled it. This guy. Oh my god. And he criticaled the Tarantula. This man is the king of Savage Season. Yo, Nux right here. 
That's insane. Now we're back on the pier two minutes later with a wild dugong. We see kind of a lot of those out here, but it's rare for a lot of people, so it's still a dang good catch. The nose savage season. This guy is the OG savage. Will he get it? Oh, what a beast! What a beast right here, yo! And we got our two. Now I know this isn't like a Dragonite or a Typhlosion, but Miltank, still a very rare Pokemon just popping up at this lure as we walk by at 763, so another not bad catch at all. And also, it is Savage Season. Let's see it, let's see it. Here we go! I'm not, oh my god! Wow! We got 10, 10K hatch, 10K hatch. Larvitar! Oh. Hey! <laughs> there it is. Alright, now we're gonna head out for the night, so I just wanna let everybody in the crew say goodbye. It's been a great day in Santa Monica. This is the best day I've ever seen on the pier, so thank you all for hanging out today and <laughs> deuces. <laughs>I think it's pretty obvious where we are and where we're here and we also have a Dratini and another pretty actually incredibly rare catch at the end of the pier here. We're gonna start off at the end and kind of walk around today. Have a chill farming day in Santa Monica because the spawns here, as you saw from the tweets in the beginning of the video, at least when I'm not here, the spawns are great. Although, one hitter quitter on the Dratini, that, that's gonna be annoying by the way, that's gonna happen a lot. At least at the end. One hitter on the Dratini with 644 and we got above average IV, so we're now at 166 Dratini candy and there's shit, hold on. Oh, Larvitar found a candy, yes. Well, there is a very rare spawn here, but the only way to get it is to literally jump off the pier and swim for it. Oh, look! What the heck? He's getting it right now, so we're, uh, we're not getting it though. That guy is getting the Aerodactyl right now. We are not. We need to turn into this. Actually, mid-pier right here, we've got a Quilava which is a really good catch. We're gonna pineapple berry this because I do want the double candies and it's only 315 so it's kind of a baby but that's solid yo. Gosh, so there, so there was an Aerodactyl at the end of the pier and we were just out of range of catching it so we did barely miss that but I mean Quilava, I'll take that. It's mega candy. Let's go, let's go. Whoa, never mind. Okay, I'm going I'm going Great Balls because I can't knock this. What is happening right now? Here we go, here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Ultra Ball can't get it but the Great Ball can. Nice, Quilava down and that's gonna give us six candies towards our Cyndaquil candy count. We have 143 now. Oh my gosh, we need we need to evolve. That's gotta happen. Oh, and there's a Doug Trio here. I have not recorded that since maybe week two. 780, yeah, I'm gonna, here, one Pokeball for it and then we'll leave. Will he stay? No, okay, you know what? We're gone, we're out of here. And the man Logan right here is evolving his Dragonite, or to a Dragonite, there it is, there it is. Hopefully, this will bless the pier with a Dragonite spawn, and we'll all catch one as well. There it is, nice. That's always such a satisfying feeling, just seeing the Dragonite right there. How do you feel right now? Oh, uh, pretty good, but it's got ceiling and hyper beams, so. I'm mean, not terrible, not that's terrible. Bad. <laughs> oh yeah. We just walked miles to get this Marif, and we thought it to spawn, but we got a Marif, which is awesome, super, super rare now. Fun fact, actually, yesterday, as you saw in the beginning of this video, two Ampharos and two Flaffy spawned in Santa Monica, so we're getting the kind of butt end of the family, but, I mean, Marie candy I'll take for sure. If it doesn't run, that is, which it just did. Oh my god! <laughs> now we got a Shuckle. It's not a Marie, but it's still a rare catch, and they're always just funny. Yeah, CP10, wow. Got a monster here. One hitter quit on the Shuckle, missed the Marie. I'd say it was worth it, got some calories burned. So now we're some 2Ks, the first one was an Ekans, so I'm kind of glad I missed that, but we'll see what else we get here. Hopes are not high, because 2Ks don't bless me. Yeah, there we go, slow poke, okay. Let's see it, let's see it, Ekans, wow. What? Crobat. A wild Crobat? Yeah. Oh my god, what the heck? Okay, I've never seen that before in the wild. Okay, we got a wild, <laughs> random wild Crobat. Never seen it, 1600, okay, there's a bus. Let me wait from the bus though, but yo, what the heck? Never seen this before, ever. This is our first ever wild crowbat. Yo, what? That was so random. Okay, sweet. This is gonna be hard to catch. If it runs from him, I'm gonna... All right, we'll throw an ultra ball at this. Wow, okay. Yo, good no, good call over here, yeah, that's okay. Well, that's a good catch. We, we, uh, we, the Marie brand. But we got a wild crowbat. Yeah, it ran for me. Nice. Okay, got him one hitter with the ultra ball. Well, not one hitter quitter, but one ultra ball down. And looking like bite and sludge bomb at 1688. What the random? Off, I'll take it. We have another Dratini. This is like the third of the. Why are they? Sp I'm not gonna complain, but 
We're getting a lot more Dratinis than usual. That's great. Hey, one hitter quitter. Nice. We're going to be nearing 200 candies pretty soon here for this. We got, yeah, 172. Oh my gosh. End of the pier cluster. We have a fan feet and that Chikorita that, oh my gosh. I thought it just spawned as I was saying that. We're good. We're good. Or Chikorita. Cyndaquil. My bad. Not Chikorita. Cyndaquil. We're going to throw, I think we use one pineapple on it because it's almost 500 CP. So, like, I don't want to waste them. And we really do not need Cyndaquil candy. As new as they are, we don't need them. Also, I'm posted up on a trash can right now. One hitter quitter on the Cyndaquil. Nice. Dude, the catches have been easy today. I'm digging this. We got 149 candy for Cyndaquil. I need a good IV. I need good CP, good IV. So 150 there, and then we've got the fall. Oh, the spawn. Okay, now it's picking up a little bit. We have a Skarmory spawn mid pier right here. I actually have not seen a wild Skarmory in quite a while, and this makes up for the Miss Aerodactyl at the beginning of the video. So 620, 662. Not too high CP, but uh, it's still <laughs> cool catch. Got the Skarmory though, 662. Uh, still wing sky attack, so kind of a baby Skarmory. We got a ride on right here. This is a random. Okay, I can't. I can't click it. Yep, nope, snipe. Nice ride on. Let's see how much CP these guys can get fat. 2308. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a big one. This is like our first big rare catch of the day. So it is Gen 1, but I mean, it's it's a ride on. I'll, I'll take this. He's being feisty. Oh my god. Chill out. What is he? Do you see this guy? Oh my god, bro. Take a chill pill. I'm gonna have to nana bury him for the first time ever. I don't think I've ever needed to use an actual nana bury in a situation like this, but it might have to happen. Let's see. If he hops out, we're gonna nana him. Nana nana nana. -na -na -na. Oh, yeah. Oh boy. We're gonna try the nana. I don't ever use them, so. We might as well put this to use right here. Calm down, sir. Calm down. Here we go. Okay, we chilled him out. Right on. Right on. Oh no, this is gonna be a fight. This is gonna be a fight. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're throwing throwing ultra balls now. I'm you know what? We're throwing a pokeball. This is happening right now. It's savage season. Let's see it. There we go. One, two. No. Alright. <laughs> not, not today. There we go. Oh my gosh, that was so difficult to catch. Well, we got the right on. That was a fight. Nice. And then we got Mud Slap and Earthquake. Actually, pretty good moveset on that for 2300. How are the IVs? The IVs are good. I'm gonna, okay, they're, they're terrible. Okay, now we are walking towards Venice, hatching a 10K. I'm really, really hoping for a Larvitar. That would be awesome. Okay, Dratini. What, what is up with today in Dratinis, man? Look, we're 206 candy now. I've never broke, I don't know if I've never broken that, but this is a good IV, so I'm gonna start this. We definitely will be getting another Dragonite, but I wanted a Larvitar. Totodile. Totodile? Totodile. Oh, nice, and yeah, and there's a Totodile right here. Yo, day's heating up. It's heating up right now, literally, because I'm, I'm sweating. Okay, just gonna not get murdered by a bike here. One hitter quitter? Yay, one hitter quitter on the Totodile. Giving us, let's see, actually, how many candy? It should be around 90 candy. Yeah, 91. There we go. Well, we've hiked it onto the beach and we've got another turtle out, and we are walking right towards a quillfish. Okay. Quillfish, yes. Yeah, quillfish right here. Nice. One hit a quitter on the turtle out. There we go. Okay. Money. Farm up the candies. We're now at 97. Almost towards our next for alligator, which is great. And then there should be a quillfish. Yeah, quillfish right here. Let's see it. How much, how much CP? We got. 762. Nice. Quillfish down one hit a quitter. 762. Not bad. Got some 5Ks hatching. Actually, just getting back to the pier, too, so. Let's hope we get some big things, but number one, Stanler. Not a bad hatch. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Tackle and Megahorn, kind of a weird moveset for it, and decent IVs. And egg number two, another Stanler. Okay, here we go. We got two Stanlers in a row. All right. Zen Headbutt Stomp and the IVs on this one, wonderful? Not wonderful. Okay, if we get three Sandlers in a row here, I'm going home. I am leaving the pier. And, all right, here we go. <laughs> okay, we're not we're not leaving today. And, oh, a Magby, wow. Yeah, I've been hatching a lot of babies recently. It's kind of been kind of weird. All right, 646 Magby. Yo, check this. We got a Teddy Rush at 980 CP with wonderful IVs and pretty good attack stats. That's a great catch, and there's a total out here. Is there a Cyndaquil, too? No Cyndaquil? Okay. I, Oh, okay, okay. This, this guy, by the way, over here, incensing everything amazing today. Oh, he's on top of his incense game. Also, we have the Totodile. We're gonna pin up bury that, pin up bury that with the Great Ball, and it's 11 CP, so probably one hitter quitter. Money. Yeah, that's what I thought. No fight. Awesome. Yeah. So it's been a, a slower farm day. A lot of smaller catches today, which is awesome. So over 112 candy now for the Totodile, which is great. I also like filled up on my Pokemon storage for the first time in forever, so we have to like filter through all of our garbage, which is a, something I really don't want to do. But yo, 980 CP Teddy Ursa with good IVs. That just how many clips today have we have we filmed just right in this corner? <laughs> we got a Mareep at the end of the pier for 92 CP, which is just perfect because we can just pineapple with an ult. We're, throwing, we're gonna throw a great ball at it and grab that easy PC. One hitter quitter. Nice! I'm talking about moving towards the Ampharos. We do have enough to get our Flaffy, which did spawn at the pier the other day, and uh, we'll eventually get our Ampharos, which also spawned in Santa Monica yesterday. All right, we've got, uh, this is this is the Mystic 7 
Alakazam. Then I just evolved for the homie right here. So let's hope. Hey, Psycho Cut Future Sight. Yo, it got the best move sets. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Nox. Yes. We got a war total right here. Nice, that's a good catch. We're also tracking a hit on Lee and 770 CP on this war total. Okay, I'm gonna raspberry. Should be pineapping, but the blast voice isn't the best thing ever, and we got Gen 2 stuff to pineapp anyway. So, still, war total right here. Yeah, we got, it, still got a group going down. Oh, oh, the nice, yeah. From Texas the po here. Yeah, Pokey Bros, exactly. We got our Pokey squad and one hitter quitter on the world turtle. Yeah, you guys see your world turtle? Everybody get it? Yep. Mine, mine's a fighter, bro. Is he? Mine's a fighter. Yeah. How much CP? He didn't want to go. He didn't want to. He knows I'm evolving into a <laughs> giant blastoise. He's like, I don't want to fight 13, but he don't want okay. to. Okay. We got a hit on Lee right here, and apparently it's supposed to be 1800. 1816 CP. This is massive. We actually haven't caught a hit on Lee in a long, long time, and this is one of the most rare spawns we've got today, so it's a good catch. Win it or quitter? Bah! We got a low kick and a close combat, actually. That's a pretty good moveset for it, and the IVs will look in. Whoa, wonderful IVs on it, too. Not a bad hit on Lee, okay. And actually, in the same spot, we have another Shuckle. This is actually Shuckle number. They've been spawning quite a bit in Santa Monica recently, so 152 CP. I just wish there was like more to the Shuckle. It looks cool. I, I enjoy catching him, but there's not a lot you can really do with him. Bam! Shuckle. Watch this. Watch this. Look at that. Boom! Larvitar, thank you. Finally something like actually really rare here. 195, so it's lower CP, so we're actually gonna throw the pineapple at this because I do not have a lot of Larvitar candy. So yeah, pineapple, Ultra Ball going down on this, and then we should hopefully be able to catch this pretty quickly, and then we're hoping for a bigger spawn today, but I mean, I'm okay with a little stuff. One hitter quitter on the Larvitar. Yeah, if a Tyranitar spawns, dude, I'm gonna cry. I'm bursting in tears, but Larvitar down one hitter quitter. Nice at 42. Larvitar Canyon that just bumped us over 40. Sweet. You and also these guys were here when the unknown spawned on the pier. Let's actually let's let's peep this. Hold on. Yeah, there it is, dude. That's the unknown that spawned here. It was a P that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, well, let me let me just ah, that's so sick, dude. Yeah, they both got it. You guys, I'm so jealous right now, dude. That's so sick. There is a dugong here, but I just like ran out of the radius and my phone's like, what is oh gosh. I need killed by a long border. Where is he? Is he over here? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, got him right here. Nice. We got a dugong right here. This is a weird catch. And we got 1100 on it. So the du I mean, dugong. It's it's just one of those like not a bad catch, but like at the same time like it could be better. Like it could be a tyranitar, but it's not. So I don't know how to feel about it. Either way, it's an evolution. Bah. And we just got it. There was a fanfi here, but my GPS sprinted away, and it's no longer here. Well, did everyone else get their fanfi? I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Well, <laughs> at least some other people got it. Oh my gosh. Wrecked. We actually got the fan feed, which is awesome because I thought it just spawned and then this guy had faith over here that it would respawn and it did, so we got it. All right, let's grab this. Nice. Oh, I was so sad for a second. Fan feed down, 45 candies. Nice. And we actually just tracked down another Larvitar. It's heating. I keep saying it's heating up and it's really not, but we Larvitar spawned. Yo, 510. Okay. One pineapple right here. We're going to attempt that. We're not going to catch it and then I'm going to throw a raspberry because as much as I need the candy, we need to catch this. Yo. Catch this one here, here. All right, I got it. Yeah, I got this. All right, here we go. How do you do it? You just, you just, you just fling it, fling it. Ah, oh, all right, a little harder, a little harder. Yep. There yeah, go. Okay. let's go. Will it go I down? That. I that. Oh, you, they can see, right? Yep. They can see. Oh, let's yep. get it. Two. Oh, this guy's a beast, right? That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Thank you. Right, very I'm much. in the Pokemon now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Nice. You're 48. Heck, this is the man right here. He has a magic touch. Yes, he does. And we have a Chikorita, and there's a Marie right here as well. I didn't pineapple berry. The one okay. starter, I need a pineapple. Oh, oh, Win it or quit her, so. You got him? And Didn't like double candy. It, I like it because it's I'm an idiot. Chikorita down nice, and then Mareep right here too. That's awesome, we'll grab that as well. And uh, probably, this one we'll actually throw the pineapple on because 619 though, that's kind of a fatty. Pineapple, great ball, let's get this. End of the pier has been just fruitful today. Yeah, the trash can. Oh, hey, we got it, we got the Mareep. We're back to the trash can spot. It still smells bad, but hey, Mareep's down. We got the double candy, 47 now, and that's Above average. Not swine bad. up. Oh, here. no, no. Good catch. And a swine up. Yeah, there's a swine up. Oh my, oh my gosh. Hey, we got 10k hatching. Here we go. Please give me a Larvitar. Come on. Oh. Larvitar. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I got a Lapras. Okay. I'll take it. We were just talking about a Lapras earlier. Water gun and Blizzard. Unfortunately. Oh my god. 1400. 
the Lapras's they they got they got piped real hard by that nerd. They're, uh, they're look, look at this look at this cluster by the way. Oh my gosh. Oh, my what? Line up here is a hundred percent CP. I mean, ah, my collection's full. This is not the time for that to happen. Oh my gosh. Oh. 100% IV. Yeah, all my Boston peeps, this is for you right here. So, there we go. There we go. Nice, yeah, here, level. The whole crew right here. Okay, watch this, ready? Wonderful HP attack defense, incredible. 100% IV swine up. That's cool. And I'm FaceTiming my brother right now. He's probably triggered. Yo, what's up? Here, we got, we got the FaceTime. You're in the video. <laughs> As we're walking out of the end of the pier, a coughing spawned right here. Uh-oh, collection's full. No, 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 no. Oh, got the coughing right here. Let's see, 4, 384. Is it total out too? Yo, end of the pier spawns, man. There we go. Let me transfer this guy out because we are literally at 999 Pokemon in our storage. Cool. That was a weird catch. Now we're walking on the beach. Okay, it looks like a scary movie right now. Like, look around me. This is... You can't see 10 feet in front of you. We actually have a Houndoom on the beach. Now watch this. We have a wild Houndoom. I do not have this in my Pokedex. Okay, ready for this? Ready for this? Do you not have it in your Pokedex? Not gonna catch it. Not. No, I don't. I don't have it yet. And we're not gonna get it. He's, look, he's looking at me very menacingly. Not gonna catch him. We're gonna save that for a Lucky Egg Evolution montage. But we saw it though. We've seen one in the wild. Not catching him. I'm sorry. If you made it this far in the video, just go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back, man. I applaud you because it was a very, very long, exciting farm video at the Santa Monica Pier. Actually, a two-day farm. It was a weird video. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, remember, St. Patrick's Day, the craziest day I've ever seen for spawns in Pokemon Go in general, really, actually, I've, in the game. And if you guys did experience some pretty crazy spawns, let me know again. Let me know in the comments because I do kind of want to confirm if they did do a little secret St. Patrick's Day event for us. But that was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below again what I just told you. And I'll see you on the next video. Happy St. Let me be late St. Patrick's Day. Peace out.